Hello friends, welcome to the video, Swaroop here. So recently there is one of the comment on my post uh, asking for what kind of data structure programs and algorithms we need to prepare for an SDET role. Even in case of a uh, tester or a developer for uh, uh, some of the startup and mang based companies, right? So they are going to ask some uh, repeated questions generally. Uh, so if you search with these keywords in Google like blind 75 or green 75, so this is uh, mainly for the coding interviews uh, I'm saying. So now I have uh, opened the Google search and uh, searched for blind 75. So there is a first result on in lead code. Lead code is a platform where we can uh, practice our coding problems in different programming languages. So I have opened this blind 75 lead code questions. So if you go to the top of this page, there are totally 75 questions here. And there are uh, a variety of topics like arrays, binaries, dynamic programming, graphs, interval, linked list, matrix, strings, trees, and heap. And there are some important links also. So to get started, initially you can uh, practice the arrays, which are uh, a bit easy. And after that, you can uh, go through this linked list and strings and matrix. And uh, then you can go to trees and heaps and uh, graphs. So dynamic programming, uh, if you have more time, you can also go through these things. So if you open these 14 patterns to ace any coding interview, so if you open this link, this was written in 2019, but uh, it is very popular. So around uh, 772,000 people has uh, read it. There are many types of uh, patterns like uh, we can solve the problem. So there is a sliding window, two-pointer approach, and uh, merge intervals, fast and slow pointers. So these kind of things you can go through and understand that. And uh, if you are able to apply it, uh, you can go ahead. So these are some of the patterns in this link. And if you are going to search for green 75 in Google search, there is a first result, uh, green 75, a better blind 75 you can customize. So it is a tech interview handbook. If I'm opening that link, so here, uh, uh, this is created by the author of blind 75. So you can uh, create your schedule like if you are saying that I have only one week time like uh, maybe one week time and uh, every week seven hours you want to practice I mean every day one hour means seven hours per week. So it is listing out like 11 problems for you and if you have more time like two weeks like I will give four weeks. So for four weeks uh, it has around uh, each week there are seven seven problems seven to nine problems so the first week there are uh, easy problems so that's why 12 problems are there so let's open one of them so to sum is one of the popular uh, program so even in the blind 75 if you go here uh, to sum is the first problem here so I have opened two sum and you can solve this in any programming language in C++, Java, Python, C, C Sharp, JavaScript, TypeScript, whichever programming language you are comfortable, you can solve in that. And you need to put your solution here to practice it. And uh, they have explained it clearly what is the actual uh, problem statement and uh, an example also given two examples are there and different constraints here so once you put your solution here you can uh, run it and you can also submit it uh, so if you don't know the solution uh, what you can do is uh, you can also check out the discussion section in the lead code to search for this problem lead code solution so it is listing this problem so the first result so 
we will go through the blocks uh, which are written for this particular problem if you are searching for any other problem which is in lead code also you can uh, put it here and search for lead code solution so there are many other uh, blocks which is having the solution written there so i am opening two blocks and there are many youtube videos also if you want to refer that uh, and understand the solution so every problem can be solved in multiple ways so everyone uh, will give us the explanation based on their approach so whatever approach you like it you can uh, understand that and practice them so if you see this blog is written in 2021 so 2022 it is updated so the problem statement is written and example so there are different kinds of solution they have written and uh, the important thing is uh, even the time complexity and the space complexity how much time uh, how much time it is taking and how much memory it is taking so these kind of things also you need to consider while solving the data structures problems and another website uh, if you want to check it out uh, geek for geeks is having the paid uh, courses also but uh, even the free content is very good so just open geek for geeks so navigate to data structures so if you scroll down here there is lot of content uh, you can read uh, in terms of different data structures like arrays linked list and uh, st stack and queue and uh, there are many other data structures so this login pop up is coming so if you want to read something in geek for geeks just create a free account and uh, you can use the sign in options also so i am just refreshing this page uh, to explain what i am trying to say so there are uh, lot of examples here if you want to go through and there are many problems also if you want to solve them and uh, other than data structures you need to also prepare for the algorithm so there are different kinds of algorithms like recursive algorithm searching sorting divide and conquer so you can check it out if you want to practice more problems you can also refer geek for geeks so this is also a free portal only if you are interested you can take the paid uh, courses but uh, even the free content is more than enough to practice and uh, you can refer multiple blogs and youtube channels to get the solutions for the problems so hope i was able to answer the question for this uh, particular topic if you have any other questions uh, post a comment on this uh, video thank you have a nice day